How's it going guys, Andy here from wholesale-help.com. I hope you're well, I'm doing just fine and dandy, thanks for asking. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Amazon sourcing and analysis app called FBA Multitool. So what's all this about then? Well, this is an app for your Chrome browser that appears in the sidebar when you're looking at Amazon listings. We're gonna get into the details very shortly, but let's just say that it gives you a host of important data points that helps you make your buying decision when looking to sell things on Amazon, such as the online arbitrage strategy. Not only that, it does it very quickly and efficiently. So if you intend to make some decent money selling on Amazon, then speed and efficiency is critical because the more buying decisions you can make, the more stock you can purchase, the more money you can make. It's as simple as that. So if there are tools that make me more efficient, then I'm all over them because an efficient Andy is a happy Andy. Now, over the years of teaching students make money with the online and retail arbitrage business models, the one point of resistance that comes up most often is their disinclination to invest in their business. They're still in that employed mindset of spending less money equals having more money for themselves, which is true if you work for the man and have a fixed income, but when you're an entrepreneur, when you're in business, you need to understand the importance of investing in your business. Those who quickly understand this difference quickly scale their business and always do very well. So I've been using this tool for a while and I really like it, I must admit. It certainly helped me in a big way. So I'm gonna run through with you now what I like about it, what isn't so good, and my overall opinion. If you wanna check it out for yourself, there's a link down in the description box below. Right, let's get on with it. So here we have an Amazon listing. I've just grabbed any random toy to show you as an example. And here you can see on the right hand side of your screen, this is the app at work. So whenever you come to an Amazon listing, this will appear. Once you set it up for the first time, you log in with your uh, Amazon Seller Central details. And the first thing you can see here is, can I list this? So this is basically saying you are allowed to list this. So it checks this against the permissions you have in different categories and very quickly tells you whether you are allowed to list this given your own personal permissions. Now the second option here is to be able to check hazmat. So if you don't know hazmat is hazardous materials, certain items with batteries in them can be flagged as hazmat. And if you're not careful, you only find out about that once you've shipped an item into Amazon and they've made that listing inactive and Amazon are refusing to list it because it has hazardous materials. Ultimately, you have to pay for them to be shipped back to you. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to get your money back on the item. Very annoying and therefore very useful to have a tool just to give you the peace of mind that there is no hazmat restriction on that item. So then we go into the sales data is the next point down. If you click on this little button, it will instantly open a keeper chart for you with the top 10 sellers down below. So you can quickly check your competition and the prices thereof very useful and it, I do like how it opens up very quickly. Now I would point out that uh, Keeper do their own free app that will have uh, will embed this information into the listing. If you scroll down here, I have that installed on my browser. It's the free data and it's here already. So you don't necessarily need this app to get this sales data. You can get it elsewhere for free, but it is useful to have to pop up and have the top 10 sellers down below. It is a very useful feature. If you click on investigate further, it will take you to the Keeper main website where you have even more tools at your disposal. So going down further is the FBA calculator. Now this to me is really a big deal. It is such a time saver and I really like how it pre-populates the sell price here as well. So what it's basically doing, you can calculate your fees for this item. So you're already on the page, you've decided if there's enough sales, you're interested in buying it, what are the fees gonna be for me? I know that I can buy it in the sale. Let's just say uh, it's in the sale for $4.99. You click enter. And then as you can see down below, it will give you your FBA fees breakdown instantly. It will say your total fees are five pounds and seven pence. So your profit in the, on this occasion is four pounds and 19. It highlights it in green so you can very quickly see that you're in profit. If you were making a loss, then this would be in red, which is very nice. And it will give you your percentage return on investment, 84.2% ROI. Very nice. And then you've just got your profit margin here as well, 29.42%. And your break even price is useful to know for the future. Uh, you can't go below nine pounds and 15 pence before you start making 
a loss. So really useful and not just useful, but very quick. And as I say, this little thing about pre-populating the price, that's 50% of the numbers you've got to enter normally into a calculator tool, such as the free FBA revenue calculator tool. You've got to open up the site separately from uh, your favorites. You've got to navigate to that site. You've then got to input the ASIN or an Amazon link to bring up the product. You've then got to enter the, uh, the, the main selling price individually you've then got to enter your buy price and then you've got to click to calculate the fees and it will tell you this is just stick in your buy price and click enter it's so much quicker you're already on the page anyway so you're not going anywhere else you haven't got additional pages to open the efficiency is strong with this app i'm telling you it's very cool You've got your sales rank here as well. So of course you'll have your sales rank on this page if you scroll down towards the bottom under the technical details, uh, you will eventually see the best sellers rank 8,619, but you're not all the way down there. That's one less thing you have to do. You can see it at a glance, 8,619 is right there whilst you're putting in and putting the price, whilst you're checking hazmat, whilst checking whether you can list it, it's all there at a glance. It's a time saver. It's gonna make you much more efficient. So moving on, it doesn't stop there. Over here, we have a separate panel and you can see this is called the PL detector, the private label detector. Now, this is something that is quite handy because on your journey, sometimes you may find a potential product that is really good value. You would normally send it into Amazon, but without realizing that item is what we generally call private label, but all it means is the person who is listing the item, they own the rights to the product. They have created it, they've branded it in their own business name, and they're not letting anyone else sell it. So quite often you'll see the name of the seller matches the branded name, and there's only one seller on the item. That's a strong indication that it is the brand owner's own listing and you should probably stay away from it. Why? Because if you were to buy that item, send it in and compete with the brand owner for the product, they're gonna very quickly report you to Amazon and you can potentially get suspensions and things like that for selling an item you don't have permission to resell. And that you tend to find on what we call on private label products. So this is a little detector that checks for a few data points. One thing, uh, how, many, how many people are listing the item, whether the seller of the item matches the brand of the product and things like that. There are a few little data points it checks. It's just going to let you know that it's absolutely fine and you shouldn't have any trouble with that. Uh, if it's orange, it goes on a traffic light system. So if it's orange, it means just take a closer look and double check. And if it's red, it's saying there's something not right here. Definitely look into this further. It's not a good idea to list it. So that's just another peace of mind thing. It doesn't happen that often. And with, with experience, I would say it's something that you would notice anyway. But if you're just starting out, a very useful peace of mind option, which I think is worth having in there. Then we've got the sales estimation here. And I think it's fair to say it's a sales estimation. It is only software after all. And I've had experience with other tools that do this and they're not that accurate to be honest with you but what it does do is gives you a snapshot you know when it says a sales estimation of 74 to 87 this is monthly so it's saying that between 74 and 87 of these items are selling on this listing per month so you know it's not going to be so wrong that there is only four selling a month for example so the information it gives you is it's a strong selling item it's selling a lot which is a useful thing to know i would not have confidence that that is a correct number it it can change a lot and to be honest with you it is very difficult to summarize that and even if it was in the last 30 days that's happened doesn't mean it's going to happen in the next 30 days so it's a useful snapshot there's no worse or better than any other product but a lot of the time i don't look at it i would prefer to actually examine the keeper data and make up my own mind how many items are being sold through the the actual data that i'm looking at on the graphs if you don't know how to understand data graphs it's very important to uh, really understand the keeper data if you are to push forward and make some serious money on amazon in the arbitrage business model so you don't know how to do that i suggest getting some training in that uh, you can take one of my courses which is linked below uh, and i will uh, show you in detail how to learn this because if you learn this you will always be able to make good money on amazon 
Right, so let's go on to another option that this item does. You've got the export function here. Now this is really, really cool. So let's just assume here we're looking to buy uh, online arbitrage. So we've had a look at the different sales data. We've made a decision. Okay, we want to buy it. So let's say we were on, I don't know, we were on Argos and we found this item. The URL of the item um, is here so this is the item URL we're on the actual page of the item we say okay we found the product we want here's the item URL if we go back to the product page we can actually paste that store URL into here click on the export function and that will send it to Google Sheets which is an online let's just call it an online Excel spreadsheet which is kept in the cloud you will have to be signed in to your own Google account for this to work but it's pretty simple to do that most people will have their own Google account and will be signed in on Chrome when they're using the browser that's the only thing you have to make sure but if you put the store URL in here click export it will send the data of that listing to your Google Sheets URL and it will input that into your sheets so effectively when you're doing this you will need to keep track of the URL of the product you've bought the selling price of the product you've bought and things like this and this will pre-populate that data on a Google Sheet spreadsheet which is massive because if you're doing a lot of this to actually manually input that data out into a Google Sheets spreadsheet takes time that's a massive time saver one click paste done sent it over there and then you can go back and refer to that at a later date. Massive, massive bonus there. Really cool. You can edit what data that takes from it by going to the settings here and going to export. You can input your Google Sheets URL, tell it which Google Sheets you want it to populate. And you can here tell it what information it you want it to export into your spreadsheet the return on investment the profit total fees rank amazon title buy price sell price all this sort of stuff it will populate it into the spreadsheet really really cool big fan of that here you've got the efn fees so if you're selling uh, within europe marketplaces you can toggle this and it will then work out the fees for you based on the additional costs of selling in europe so that's also very handy but there's even more. This is really cool. Okay, check this out. So we're on Argos website here. So let's just say we found this item here and we're going to say, okay, I fancy this is going to have some profit on Amazon. So the next thing you'd need to do is search for this on Amazon. And so what you'd normally do is maybe highlight the title of the item, copy it, and then go to Amazon, open up your Amazon into a new browser, paste that uh, title into the browser and search for it. Whereas with the FBA multi-tool app, all you have to do is highlight the title and you can see here this pops up. So you've got US, UK. So you can choose whether you want to uh, search on the US marketplace or the UK marketplace. Uh, click on that. It will automatically open the browser and search for that item that you've just selected. So you straight away, you're getting into the product that you want to search for. How cool is that? And that works with anything that you can highlight. So anything you find on the interwebs on any site, on eBay or anywhere, highlight the title, click on what marketplace and it'll automatically open an Amazon window and it will search for those details much quicker much easier another massive time saver so as you can see here the reason why it's called the fba multi-tool is not just a fee calculator it's not just a sales data analytics tool it doesn't just check for hazmat it does everything and i must admit this is like the swiss army knife of amazon data tools it gives you so much information it really is the one-stop shop i absolutely love this and this is going to make a real difference in my business in being a lot quicker and more efficient at making buying decisions if you click the link down in the description box below you can get yourself a free trial for 24 hours check it out see what you think yourself the cost monthly is 19.99 and that gives two users access for the uh, for the full app and email support there's also a private Facebook group where you can ask questions and offer suggestions about updates. If you want to pay yearly, it's going to cost you £200. It's going to save you 40 quid. So effectively, you're getting two months free by paying up front.
As I've already said, this works for the US marketplace. So that's going to cost you about 26 US dollars per month, somewhere around about that, give or take for the exchange rate. Alrighty, that pretty much wraps it up for this review video. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Always happy to hear your suggestions. Hit me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. I would appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Plenty more videos to come very shortly. And if you hit that bell notification, you're going to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence, and I will catch you on the very next video. Bye for now.